Today I'm going to show you how to create and upload custom ringtones to your Cisco Call Manager server. So first, you have to get a, uh, a custom ringtone that you want. Um, this Jurassic Park one here sounds like this. So I want to make that a ringtone. So first I'm going to show you where you can download them. Um, personally, I like a website called Zedge. Um, it's got free downloads that you can get, pretty much of anything you can think of. Uh, just search for it and you can pretty much get whatever you want. So you can click on, let's just click on one for an example. Click on that and click the get ringtone, click download, and there you go. You can get a file that way. Okay, so next you'll have the file on your desktop. Um, save it there. Next you'll need a TFTP client. Um, the one I use is TFTP D32. Um, you, I'll provide the links below in the, in the description, but uh, you'll go to the website and you'll click the standard edition and download that. Once you have that, you'll have a shortcut on your desktop and you'll click on that. Um, you're going to click the TFTP client tab. And once you're here, you're actually going to put the host of your Cisco call manager server in there. So we'll type that in here. And um, I did not put the port in because that did not work for me. So um, we'll add the local file. The local file, you actually have to create a folder where it's going to import to. So make a new folder. I'm just going to call it TFTP import. And then I'm going to grab that file location and copy that. And I'm going to paste it in here in the local file area and do a forward slash ringlist.xml. And this is case sensitive, so make sure you put a capital R in that. So ringlist.xml. And we're also going to put that in the recorded or remote file portion too. Um, and once that's done, you're going to click get. And when you click get, you will end up getting this if it was successful, and that's pulling the file off of your call manager server. So let's go check that file quick in the TFTP import folder. All right, there it is. Um, so if I go into it, if I right click on it and go to edit, there's all my ringtones that I have on my server right now. So we'll come back to this later. Um, next, we're actually gonna go into a audio editing program called Audacity. Um, I'll also provide the link below for this, but this is a free open source um, software that you can record, edit, and change file extensions with. Works perfect for this. So let's go into that once we download it. And from here we're going to put file and open. And let's open that mp3 file that we want to use as a ringtone. So the Jurassic one. There we go. Click open. And the first thing we need to do is actually change the project rate. You'll need to change this to 8,000 hertz. And there we go. So once that's done, we're gonna actually need to check this, the actual time on it. Um, you can't be over, you don't wanna go much over 12 seconds. If you go over that, a lot of the files will, will not work. It needs to be within a certain range. You might be able to go a little bit more, but not much. Um, then we'll have to make it sure it's mono. It's stereo right now, so we're gonna, up here we're gonna click, and we're gonna go to split stereo to mono. So there we go, now we have two files and it's split. So we're gonna close out one of these because we don't need both. And now we have our one file that's mono, the 8000 hertz. <laughs> So I'm going to actually export this file, and in the export settings we want to make sure we have other uncompressed file selected, then we'll go to options, and it needs to be raw, and then EULA has to be selected. So click OK, save, and then click OK again, and there we go. We have our raw file created right here. Okay. So we'll close out of this, and next we're going to go into our uh, ring list imported file. So again, we're going to right-click on it, go to Edit, and we're going to go to the bottom, and we're just going to copy the bottom 
um, last ring tone that we put in there. Just copy the whole thing. And then we're going to paste it right below. Right below the last ring. And we'll paste it here. So the next thing you're going to look at is you got to make sure you, you're using the exact same um, name. Well, actually, the display name can be whatever you want. So we'll just make this Jurassic. But the actual file name needs to be uh, case sensitive and everything on the um, Jurassic Park. So, and you need to put dot raw at the end of it. So we'll type that in here. Jurassic Park dot raw. Okay. So we did that, and everything looks good. So we're gonna save it. Just do a file save and close that out. Now we have our ring list file updated. updated. Alright, so next we're going to log into the call manager server. Um, you're going to go into the Cisco Unified OS administration, administration, click go, and then we're going to log in here with your credentials. So we'll type our username and password, and then log in. So first we're going to go up to software upgrades, and then go to TFTP file management. And from here, we're actually going to click on Upload File. And we're going to upload our ring list first. So we're going to browse and go to that folder, your import folder, where we just edited the file. And if I can find it, there it is. And then click on the ring list file and open that and upload file. And then you'll notice it says file uploaded successfully. So now we're going to upload the actual ringtone that we created and edited, the raw file. So we'll find that right here and click open and upload and again successful so now you can actually just go check just to make sure it's in there I will put Jurassic and find and sure enough there it is okay so now that we have those files uploaded we're gonna go over to the Cisco Unified serviceability tab click go on that and now we're gonna log in again login and now that we're in here we're going to click on tools and then we're going to go to control center feature services okay now we click on there we're going to scroll down until we see CM services and then we're going to click on Cisco TFTP and we're going to check that you can see it started right there so we're going to check it and then go back up top and click the restart um, button and you're going to click OK here and this will just take I don't know what maybe 15 seconds and what this is just doing is it's just resetting the service and then after this it should actually be loaded into your phones so we'll just wait till this is done There we go, and it says the service was reset, it was, it was successful. So now we'll go over to the phone. Okay, so you're going to click the settings button, button on your phone and go to preferences, and then you're going to click on ringtones, and then you're going to click on your name. Um, you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom, because it was in the bottom of the ring list, that XML file, and we'll click play on it. And there we go, it worked. You can click set, and that's all you need to do. Apply that, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.